We're at the zoo. And I'm gonna re review the zoo. It's, it's called the zoo review or the zoo view, which is I combined them, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. You can't people don't understand that, so it's just the zoo review. No. Okay, just Wow, that was a that was a horrible intro. Yeah, I'm reviewing uh, this zoo, the Cape May County Zoo. Does this need to be reviewed? No, probably not. So you know, but we're here already, and I've already filmed all this, and I don't want it to go to waste, so I guess we're just gonna do it. So, you know, I will just count, you know, we'll go through, uh, count the pros and cons, and um, review the zoo, I guess. I just, I wonder, I wonder where the zoo is. Is it there? We're having a fun time. It's really happy. Oh god, oh no. Oh, Kevin, say something about the monkeys. What was my line? Just say, there doesn't have to be a line, just say it. They have nice beards. Great. I, I think they're cats. They're mm. just basically cats. So one of the first stops on our trip at the zoo were the primates. And primates are fascinating creatures. Uh, they're very close in relation to humans. And they're growing. I love monkeys. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for your input. Wasn't really necessary, but well, okay. Nick's contemplating his life. What? Hey Kevin. Yeah. So a lot of these monkeys have actually been, these are criminally incarcerated monkeys. They've actually been arrested. Kevin, they need to be euthanized. And they want you to pick which one. Sadly, it's true. Uh, those monkeys at that particular enclosure had been criminally convicted. And as the 100th entrant to the zoo that day, my friend Kevin had the chance to pick which one would be put down. Needless to say, it was a very big decision, which he made in about two seconds. That one. Justice. He's just, oh yeah, he's going in. They got the needle ready. He's going in. You wanna go see through the glass? They're gonna, they're gonna euthanize. Oh, how cute. Come here, bud. Let me touch you. Giving us, he's strutting. Which is a lot of exotic animals like pigs and cows and stuff you wouldn't normally see in America. You know, like cows gonna eat that child. Does anyone have quarters? Look, so look at how pretty these other ones are. And then there's the one in the back that's like having some sort of problem. He's really freaking out. I don't. I don't get a quarter. When flamingos aren't seizing, uh, they're actually quite beautiful creatures. They have great posture, great poise, their vibrant colors, and bright cheery attitudes really picked up the attitude that we had as zoo goers, and I felt like the attitude of the entire zoo as a whole. Little known fact about flamingo is that- What are you <laughs> Chill. And I have to say, flamingos are probably in my top- <laughs> I told you, I told you peacocks were assholes. Yeah. The little known fact about camels is that they're actually going extinct in the Middle East because they're humps. If anything, they're filled with water, they're filled with uh, gasoline and oil. So they've been hunted to extinction in Saudi Arabia. So luckily these these guys are here uh, in captivity and you know just hopefully nobody will light a light a cigarette or anything. After that we made our way to the classic American bison, these very strong, glorious creatures of the American West that are solidified within our culture and our environmental history. Actually I love American bison. Okay. Th thank you. Th yes, thank you again for your input. Okay. <laughs> What's he doing? Secret bison. She was That's born on June 5th, 2017. Did you read the sign? I didn't read the sign. I'm sorry, I didn't read the sign. I think you're slick, huh? I think you're hiding in the bridge where nobody can see you? We saw They be lying. <laughs> That's not, no, that's not what I asked you to say. <laughs> but that was so good. Oh, this breeze feels great. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
The amount of feline diversity at the zoo was quite surprising. There were many different kinds of large cats, including the cheetah and the lion, and it's really been impossible to boil down the array of feline creatures they have here to just a simple phrase, and I wouldn't even try- They got a lot of cats here. Great. <laughs> I wanna see him run. I can, I can fast forward in post okay. to make it look like he's going real fast. That's not a lion. Oh my gosh. Wow. Like, just, like, get off your phone. Oh my goodness. These little guys are known as cotton top tamarins, and it was actually quite fun to watch them energetically bounce around their little enclosure, staring back at the zoo. I goat. love cotton top tamarins. <laughs> tamarins. What? You said tamarins. Tamarins. Kevin's love of cotton top tamarins drove him to try to be just like them. Did he accomplish his dream? I'd like to think so. Why are there so many bees? It's bee season. I mean, he's got his mouth open. This. He's like. Eh. Yeah, that's an eagle already. Jeez, kid. Learn how to read. We made our way to the Pathway to Diversity, which housed some of the zoo's most fan favorite animals, in which. I got a whole lot of trees. Thank, thank you. Again. We came across one of my personal favorites, the red panda, uh, or known to the layman, uh, the spray painted raccoon, because that's basically what it is. Let's not, you know, beat around the bush. <laughs> it's a, it's a spray branded raccoon. Come on. Looking at some of these creatures, I could just hardly contain my excitement. This is so exciting. The elusive bowling pin. Now the zoo had actually gotten a brand new baby giraffe calf. Giraffe calf? Is that a giraffe calf? Is it giraffe? Is it giraffe calf? Okay, giraffe calf. Now the reticulated giraffe is known for many things. Its height, its spotted pelt, its strong neck muscles, but also its family values. And it, it shouldn't be understated that a giraffe- I love reticulated giraffes. <sighs> oh my god. But somehow I couldn't help but suspect that one of the giraffes had somehow made it out of its enclosure. Get it? He's tall. That's the, that's the joke, is that he's tall. Okay, we're moving on. As we moved on, we saw more animals of the African plains, such as the Ankoli Watusi, which is a Ankoli Watusi. <laughs> thank you. Again, thank you. And also uh, the scimitar horned oryx, another horned. I love scimitar horned oryx. <sighs> and let's not forget the magnificent bongo, which is. I love the bongos. You don't. You don't even, uh, making our way to the lemurs, uh, we realized that the lemurs weren't actually there. But regardless, that area was a hot spot for controversy and argument. Oh, <laughs> lemurs existed before King Julian did. All right, it's a boom of food. What? It's a boom of food came before everything. No, Zubu lemurs came before the boom of food. <laughs> Why not? So they don't apply to pissing towels. Listen, you don't know that. I'm not a dog. This is one of the right zoo's here. best attractions, is the log of dead mice. This bird has permanent injuries. Oh. That's permanent what? Thanks for being a downer, dude. <laughs> Maybe it has something wrong with its ears since it clearly can't hear me calling it with its native tongue. He's looking at me. Wow. He's staring right at my. Wow. Right at my soul. As we continued, we were enraptured by what looked like a normal squirrel. So. Yeah. Hey. <gasps> After spending more time watching the squirrel than we spent watching any other animal in the entirety of the zoo, uh, we moved on. Are you saying these are these are Bolivian fighting turtles? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh no! There's a plastic bottle cap in there. Oh God, somebody Don't help me. Silence. You can't kiss him without consent. You can't do that. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! 
That's a bear. I can barely believe it. This is getting listen, unbearable. Listen, I asked you to stop this. Okay? You're ru you, uh. Just bear with me, okay? No, see, when Mother Nature was like making animals, she's like, I want one with the efficiency and aerodynamic abilities of like a Humvee. But it's still gonna kill everything. Is, is it? It, like a Humvee does. <laughs> so you're telling me Humvees were made before bears? Yes. Do it. Okay, seriously. <laughs> After watching the bear do some sick, stupid stunts with his barrels and whatnot, uh, we moved on to more more monkeys, I guess. This place is like 11 monkey exhibits. We got to see some of the more majestic birds at the zoo, including the crested caracara, which comes from the deep heartland of what we know as- I love the crested caracara. Wow. Wow. Wallabies are like, they're like kangaroos, but they're smaller, you know? So it's like a weird thing, because it's like, why would you want a smaller kangaroo anyway, you know? Anyway, uh, we went to the reptile and amphibian hut, or whatever they call it. It's just a, a building full of those animals. I can edit you out. And I forgot. I forgot to edit him out. Okay, well. He doesn't look very comfy. He wants nothing to do with the water. Yeah. Are you sure? Did you put this turtle in the right tank? Guys. They have a program to get Tiger Salamander's money for college. Now I may not have video evidence of this, but but trust me, that joke killed. That it's like a Head Start program. Never mind. Okay. You guys, look, small mammals, like like Kevin. <laughs> yeah, he took he took that one pretty hard, so I I, I tried to apologize, and make it up to him. I didn't mean it was a joke. Okay. Oh. Cute. That's a picture. In the small mammal section, we ran into something that we were probably never supposed to see. And I'll never be able to look at bobcats the same way again. Oh my god, they're really cool. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like that one. He's like, what have I done? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go. <laughs> I love Patagonia Mara, parentheses cavi, parentheses. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you love the Patagonian Mara, yeah, you knew that, you totally knew that existed before our trip to the zoo. Yeah, oh you love it. Oh you love a lot of things, don't you? There's an otter. Matt, so basically otters are like these little... I know what an otter is. Okay. One of our final stops for the day was a visit to the World of Birds atrium where there were so many different birds and so little time. There was a vast array of multicolored and diverse fowl, and we came across them eating their gorilla munch and their food bowls, and all around just being birds, really. Dude, look, a duck. Look, another duck. <laughs> Are there ducks in here? Again, the sheer amount of, of activity and diverse groupings of birds there were impossible to distill into a single statement. There were just too many birds, they were just too different, and there was no way you could possibly say anything that would wrap up the entirety of this situation and this experience into one. You got a lot of birds. Thank you. Thank you again. Wow. You know, the, the ancient pharaohs, they would use these birds, they would kidnap them live and use them to like mix salads and stuff. They just grab them by the neck and they, they toss, them, toss them salad. How'd you guys think, how'd you guys think the world of birds was? A lot of birds. Uh, That's right, you can't think of anything, huh? you can't just, think of a pun. It just flew by, it just flew Damn by. Damn it! <laughs> See? Self-control. 
He's not gonna just scream because you told him to. Ah! Okay. <laughs> this eagle isn't even bald. After the world of birds, we made a final visit back to the pig pen, where we would recap and reflect the events of the day. Here is where I asked my friends about some of their pros and cons about the zoo in order to factor into my final judgment, because I so care about their opinions. Um, the lion was pretty girly. He wouldn't be the alpha of my pride, really. Okay. Um, Understandable. Oh, wait, I gotta hold on. One. I gotta film this. That was cute. Okay, anyway, continue. Um, there weren't really any dogs, a lot of cats, mm -hmm. maybe too many cats. A okay. jaguar would have been cool. Right. I mean, I understand that. There was, there's not a lot of space for some of these animals. Yeah. So maybe some of the animals are a little neglected. Okay. Um, you know, I oh, care girl. about animals, I don't just make puns. <laughs> sure. How about you, huh? I, I mean, feel like the you had a really good time. baby leopards baby were leopards. a little... False advertisement. Okay. Baby, uh, giraffe is there though. Yeah, but I didn't really care about the giraffe. And how'd you feel? <laughs> it's a pot belly pig! <laughs> yeah, it is! Oh, shoot. Are you a Yes. Yes, I am. Hey, I'm a daily vlogger. Hey, guys, we're <laughs> this actually looks like a daily vlog. It does. Hey, it's me and my buddy, we're at the zoo. Okay, <laughs> you know, you took part in euthanizing one of the one of the monkeys, Kevin. How does that make you feel? You know, is your experience enhanced by that or I can answer that for him. Kevin had the time of his life killing that monkey because Kevin hates monkeys. Okay. Come back to earlier footage. I love monkeys. Look at everybody. Kevin, he he feels so good about euthanizing that monkey, he's going to donate five dollars to the zoo. To buy a new monkey. To buy them a new monkey. There it goes. See, just get the string. Look at this string. Oh my god. <laughs> Success. Overall, I'd say the zoo was a fun experience. There were many different quirky little animals to look at as they gallivant through their own enclosures, doing funny things or not really. Sometimes they were just lying there. It was a free zoo, so we definitely got our money's worth, especially considering I found a quarter on the ground. So I made a net profit, and here it is, ladies and gentlemen, what you've all been waiting for. My final judgment, the statement that will forever affect how people look and view this zoo in a public light. Through all the pros and cons, which I've listed off throughout this entire video that I don't remember at all, uh, my final verdict is, Yeah, sure. It was it was okay. <laughs>